because we're going to take advantage of the weather. We're going to take advantage of the time that we have uh, and push them out to get a little work done. And my first name is Timmy. Last name is Stampley. I work for U.S. Army North, CSTA, and I'm their urban search and rescue evaluation analyst. We changed everything that was on so the Our paper. team put together the uh, urban search and rescue trench uh, evaluation lane. I'm looking at this area right here. Seeing that they're one of five military units that will work in a hazmat type environment. We put a great deal of thought into the scenario to add these, these hazards to make them stay within the suit and then understand what these hazards can do to their suit as well as the victims. Two, two, two jobs, one for here, okay. one here. Right now the priority for the group supervisor is this. I got you. So that's our priority. My name is Sergeant First Class Ramon Garibaldi. I'm with the 216th Engineer Mac. I'm the first sergeant. Yeah, I know, but once the data comes in, yeah. Uh, our mission here is uh, urban search and rescue uh, with the emphasis on uh, contaminated environment. One of the biggest things we're, we're uh, expecting to, to do is show them that uh, we're, we're capable of proper techniques and then uh, just overall improvement on, on trench rescue. My name is Specialist Garcia Ricardo. Uh, I went to 216th and we're out of Pomona in California. My units definitely learned a lot from this mission. Uh, we have a lot to improve on. There's always room for improvement. And I think when we get back home, you know, we have a lot of training to do, but if we were act ever activated for a real life scenario, I have confidence in my unit that we can help people out and perform safe rescues. Our goal is to ensure that these units go into a catastrophic event, confidence, knowing how to do their jobs and go home safely.